Hello everyone, this is the Olino Smart Coding Robot Trotro. I'm a friend providing you with useful coding training sessions. In the future, we would like to share a variety of helpful materials for our classes through this channel. Today's activity is a round trip. The purpose is to check the average distance of the robot and to code it so that the robot can move to the specific destination. It will also be fun to see the robots moving. Today, we need a robot, coding card, a four paper, markers, and a ruler. The coding cards are start, end, move card, number card, and repeat card. The first thing we need to do is to see how much the robot is moving at a time. This will allow you to code accurately with your card. To check the distance, the robot must move forward one space. To measure the exact distance, draw a baseline to move the robot using the board marker and a ruler. Insert the start, move forward, and end the card into the robot mouth. When the command is finished, check how far the robot has moved. Repeat this process several times to get the average distance. Next, we will use this data to design an algorithm that moves to a specific location. Measure the distance from the starting point to a specific location. Then, using the average distance, check how many spaces you need to go to your destination. We can use the algorithm as follows. As you become more familiar with this process, design an activity that returns to the starting point. Turning a 180 degree must be added to achieve this goal. The movement method remains the same, so you can repeat the same command style one more time. In this case, the algorithm looks like this. After designing the algorithm, observe the movement of the robot. The winner of this activity is the person who moved the robot closest to the departure and arrival point after turning around the return point. There is no fixed distance for this activity. Therefore, when we do it, we can change the distance to the return point longer or shorter. It makes a lot of sense to see which algorithms can be changed in the process. If you want to add game elements, you can create a competition system to finish this activity in a short time, or you can organize a team activity, or by changing the number of times a player uses move forward cards and predicting the distance, we can find various interesting elements. Today, we looked at coding activities that can be done with the all in coding robot TrueTrue. True. We will update good videos frequently in the future, so please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Bye.